maybe if we have a well we'll see in the meantime Jeff Burton is in victory lane at Darlington again Marty yeah this is becoming a familiar sight Jeff Burton will climb out of the game forward and celebrate this fine victory here his first Bush Series victory of uh, the season and uh, his first victory period this year I was waiting for you to spray water everywhere where was that well I gotta I gotta run here in just a minute and happy hour so I don't want to get all wet but uh Great job. These game guys did a heck of a job. Uh, we struggled with our Bush program this year, but they came out and uh, really worked hard for this race and real proud of them. Had great pit stops and did everything we needed to do. You're becoming very Pearson-esque here. I mean, this so uh, you and you and winning at Darlington is becoming a cliche. This is my favorite place in the world. Uh, I don't I don't know of another racetrack. Miss Kimberly Page. And uh, to me, this is this is what racing's all about. It's a tough old racetrack, and it's there's no pretty sweets and there's no pretty. You know, all that good stuff, but it's just an awesome racetrack, and it's, uh, it's what racing's all about. Boy, those cautions really fell your way. Those guys started short pitting. I'm sure you were kind of worried then. Well, I didn't want to be the only one out there on that many lap tires because you, you, you're you afraid you're going to get knocked out of the way. But I knew we were okay because, you know, they weren't going to make up two two laps and 18 laps, and uh, that's what they were going to have to do. So I knew we were okay, but... I, my, I, my biggest fear was getting run into because you'd be going so slow compared to the guys with tires on. How come you didn't do one of those fancy burnout like those kids do? Well, because my guys work too hard. They uh, Everybody at Roush Racing works real hard on engines and transmissions and rear end gears and chassis and bodies. And to hell if I'm going to tear it up after the race. I think it's nonsense. I uh, We work too hard to tear it up. So we keep it together when we can. That's a veteran speaking. And Jeff Burton finally gets a victory here in 2000 Wayne, uh, 2001. To Matt Yoakum. It's second of or you can coulda, woulda, shoulda things out, but boy, how many more laps did you need where you think you coulda got bombed? Well, obviously we knew it was 147 when we came here, but um, from where we were after the rain delay, we had a left rear tire go flat, we pitted, lost all the track position, and our car wasn't very good. Ricky worked on it. Uh, the thing was awful loose, and uh, there at the end, we finally got it pretty good, and my hat's off to Jeff Burton. Heck of a job, and uh, then he let us get our lap back, and uh, maybe a couple more laps, but still wish Michael was here. This one's for you, buddy, but um, we'll get one here for long. Well, he dug himself a hole with three DNFs in the first four starts, but they are sure on a tear now. Elton Sawyer second in Darlington. Dave? Well, man, I'm not even sure what we've been able to see yet, but uh, Greg's looking in the distance there, surveying the damage on his Granger car. Tempers with uh, Kevin Harvick over there, too. You weren't... I wasn't, thank okay. goodness. Uh... You were involved with Scott. Well, it just, uh, I'm sure it was a total accident, but... Uh... We got red this uh, turn over here. He came up and apologized after the fact that uh, he ran into me, but just destroyed the car. You know, we made it with a clean uh, car the whole day, and then got red coming in the pits. But you know, he came up and apologized. It was uh, nothing intentional, obviously. Honestly, you really, you really don't think he meant to meant to run into you? No, because we weren't even uh, uh, we weren't even near each other on the racetrack the whole day. Okay. So. Well, we'll follow up with uh, Scott, uh, although he has apologized. We'll also check and see what the deal is with Kevin Harvick because he was being restrained by one of his people. Let's go to Matt Yoakum. Nobody restraining Mike McAshoes, McLaughlin. I'll tell you what, a great day, good run, but, boy, I know you wanted that second or first place finish. What happened there? Well, we were just real good on a long run as the, as the runs went on. We, we, were, we progressively, well, we didn't get as bad as everybody else. Uh, new tires a little tight, took a while for it to get going stops the green flag you know that that would have been in our favor i think we'd have been all right either way but my guys are awesome in the pits good day for mbna third place we'll take it what about the battle with the 98 well you know that's uh you know the couple to go you know you get kind of push and shove a little bit uh you know i did a similar thing to him at michigan uh so you know you get you got to take you know magic shoes third in darlington Alan? well i guess i owe scott an apology because if it wasn't a payback it was certainly interesting it well, was interesting but man. it sure looked like he was going after somebody what we're going to do is we're going to get a hold of scott and hear his side That'd find out idea. exactly what did happen how about that while we do that let's uh check out the finishing results from today's south carolina 200 presented by applebee's jeff burton in victory lane for his first win in the bush series of 2001 Ryan Newman came back from the lost wheel early for a fourth place finish. Bobby Hamilton Jr., good top five run. Jeff Green only picked up two spots after the fresh tires on that late caution. Tony Raines, a good top ten finish today. 
We see 13 cars in the lead lap. Kevin Harvick, the first car lap down in 14th position. Here are some of the cars that uh, had their problems, particularly at the end of the race. Rich Bickle with that late spin when he was bumped by Kevin Grubb. You had uh, Shane Hall, Randy Tolzma involved in that last lap skirmish off turn two. And now some of the drivers who failed to finish. I see Steve Park in 38th and Larry Ford in 39th involved in that bizarre crash off turn two. To Matt Yoakum and Ryan Newman, how would you sum up your day? Uh, like, like the year, up and down. I mean, uh, to start up front, have an excellent qualifying run with the Altel Ford. Go to the back, had to uh, you know, miss Q with the tire falling off there. But, um, you know, recover, finish fourth. It just says a lot about the guys. And uh, if we screw up, we can fix our problems sometimes. Being a rookie, how tough mentally to have to battle back from something like this when you know you had a good car, you know you started on the pole, and have something like this happen? I was pretty proud of myself because I was looking around the car here and I didn't put a scratch on it. So uh, outside of what, uh, what happened there with the left rear tire, it's good to come away with Darlington like that. Uh, with a fourth place finish but uh, you know just look forward to going to Richmond and uh, doing the things we can to, to keep learning. The ABC Penske 02 Tour continues Richmond the next stop. And I talked about inexperienced driver but Ryan Newman, Newman today an inexperienced to get a word with Scott Wimmer we'll take a commercial break and come back with more from Darlington next on TNT. The South Carolina 200 on TNT is presented by Applebee's Neighborhood Grill and Bar. Eating good in the neighborhood, Applebee's. Still to come, NASCAR Winston Cup Series Happy Hour here at Darlington. Practice for tomorrow's Southern 500 is going to start momentarily. Let's check the next after today's South Carolina 200. Kevin Harvick's lead coming in was 345 over Jason Keller. Lost a little bit of ground. He lost a few points, but he has a few to spare. Not a whole lot of change here in top ten. One spot there. Mike McLaughlin and Tony Raines. Swapping a spot, and that's it. And the Bush here is heading to Richmond for a race next Friday night. You'll see on TNT a minute ago, Dave Burns talked with Scott Wimmer. All right, Scott Wimmer is on his way to the next From Greg Biffle, if you did something wrong or if you didn't, what's your side of the story? Uh, Jeff Green pinched me in the wall off the of two, and I hit it pretty hard. I was just trying to finish. He came down off the track. I couldn't turn nothing. Uh, you know, I didn't mean to do it at all. It was my my fault. I couldn't get slowed down in time. He turned down. Uh, bad deal. Uh, we uh, late I'm next week. I don't know. Probably I'll me a little bit. Uh, say I was going too fast after a race or something, but. Uh, I didn't mean to do it. It was, uh, you know, bad deal. All right. That's Scott Wimmer, and apparently that was the case. He did not mean, obviously, to get in the 60 car of Greg Biffle. And he almost got in the car with Biffle. Yeah, yeah, watch this. Watch this, folks. Watch this crash. Man, that's a hard lick. I think he was going fast for some reason. But, but I think our replay guys need to back that up. We need to run that one more time. Why was he going that fast? Well, there we see the crash. That's a heck of a mess. Let's watch that replay one more time. You see, he said to Biffle it didn't have any brakes, right? Watch, folks, the left front tire. The left front. Watch this tire right there. Okay. Biffle's going to turn left. Scott's going to say, whoops. Brakes. He's got brakes no. because that tire stopped. But it was Biffle who said he didn't have brakes. Scott didn't say that. I, he said Scott told him he didn't. What Biffle said, Scott Scott didn't say that to us. I think there's more to the story than Something's, what we're getting. You know, either Scott forgot that they turned into the garage back there off a of turn two, and he was steaming around to get up alongside somebody and said, "Oh, what? We're going back here," or something. Yeah. We'll give him a little rookie mistake leeway there. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 sir, no, sir. Okay. Well. They got a big bill to fix that thing up before the next uh, the next race at Richmond next weekend. That's for sure. 
Well, hopefully they have an, hopefully they have another car oh, to hey. use at Richmond next week because, trust me, they're not going to use that one. That one's not going anywhere. Well, we have seen our share of unusual Darlington occurrences today. The just bizarre accident off of turn number two under the caution flag that injured Steve Park, although the latest update on Steve is that he is alert and awake at the hospital with no serious injuries, but that was certainly one of the most unusual accidents I've ever seen. And we still don't know exactly what caused Steve Park's car all of a sudden just I mean, watch this early on in the race, and you see him there, all of a, the 31 car, the white one. All of a sudden, the car just turns left, and the 14 car of Larry Foyt is coming along. He's a lap down. If they're getting ready for the restart, Larry's going to drive up beside the lead. Tussling up to the front, and he, all of a sudden, the car is directly in front of him. Mm. Glad to say that, that Steve, again, does have no major injuries, but he will be kept overnight in the hospital here in the Darlington area for observation because he was unconscious when the safety workers reached him in that car. And so Jeff Burton has won the NASCAR Busch Series race, and now we turn our attention to tomorrow's Mountain Dew Southern 500. It's 50 second running, happy hour about to get underway. Yay, you're, you're grinning. <laughs> but it's not very happy. It's not a very happy time. 45 minutes of practice to get your car perfect. And no Which, car's gonna be perfect. Yeah, that's right, it doesn't happen. But uh, this place is, it's a blast to race on. I mean, there is no grip, and you're sliding a car around. It's a four-wheel slide half the time once you go out your tires. It's a real fun race, but like BP says, you're not going to get your car perfect. You're just looking for a balance. You're trying to get the car, you know, to drive halfway decent on bad tires. It is time for Happy Hour next on TNT. <laughs> 